Welcome back to AM Northwest. Our next guest says you can reduce cravings, fight inflammation, and fuel your body with a simple plan of gut-friendly superfoods. We welcome the author of Flat Belly 365, Manuel Villacorta. Good to have you with hey, us, Manuel. Good morning. Welcome, How are you? welcome. Good to see you. All right, so I know this is like the biggest thing right here. So this, <laughs> what is this about? Yeah, this is five pounds of fat. Oh, lovely. Now, where this is located in your body can have a huge impact on your health. Right. So we have fat all over our body, mm -hmm. especially subcutaneous fat, which is between your skin and your muscle. Okay. Right. When someone gains weight, that fat cells increases in number. Sure. Now, this fat, when it's located here. In your stomach. Visceral fat. Mm -hmm. Visceral fat, I call it deep fat surrounding your organs, weight inside. When you gain weight, when someone gains weight, these fat cells increases in size right and when they get to be so large you start secreting cytokines which are inflammatory chemicals okay so we try to prevent that from happening by reducing visceral fat and now obviously okay. eating the right foods and, and keeping it healthy can help you do you that. You brought some probiotics and tell yes. us about those and so how do they help. In our gastrointestinal system you have more than 10 billion type of bacteria. Mm -hmm. There are some good and some bad bacteria but we want to have more of the good bacteria. Sure. So by eating foods with probiotics then you add probiotics into your system. So we have yogurt, mm -hmm. aged cheeses, parmesan cheese, oh, yes. kimchi, sauerkraut and pickles. Those are fermented vegetables. In my book I have a way to ferment any vegetable you like right. which is important you want to eat probiotics every day just a little bit every day okay well now, I can do that I'll take on that assignment. that's right so now probiotics need prebiotics to prebiotics. survive it's okay. more important multiply so prebiotics are fibers found in fruits and vegetables and grains that can help promote the growth of probiotics okay those are California avocados is one example mm -hmm. I love, love these avocados, avocados. Yes. yes me too now one serving of California avocado which is about one third of 50 grams mm -hmm. provides 11 percent of dietary fiber for the day and 30 to 40 percent of that fiber is soluble fiber prebiotic fiber which okay. is amazing then oats asparagus bell peppers and of course bananas, bananas are also good sources and we have more lists in my book as well yes absolutely you have your book list is out pretty clearly all for that everyone. good stuff and now, then nuts then you heard before eat fat to lose fat, right. right? Right. So these fats are rich in monounsaturated fats and omega-3s that has been shown to, to reduce belly fat, the visceral fat. So we have, again, California avocados, which are a good source of monounsaturated fats. Mm -hmm. And again, monounsaturated fats can help you reduce belly fat. Canola oil, olive oil, nuts, and seeds that are rich in, again, those two monos and omega-3s. Okay, and then you have this beautiful salad, looks yeah. like mangoes. So this is an example of how to actually now put all this together. Right, and So one we meal. have walnuts and avocados for the good fats and prebiotics with the avocados and of course mangoes, which are also a great, good source of prebiotic fiber as well. Wow, okay. Yeah, and this goes with this delicious canola uh, oil. This is a dressing here with uh, cilantro, lime, and And that chips. recipe is in your book as all well, All the recipes right? are in the book, exactly. And you brought something that you wanted to tell us about. Um, it's, it's a soup you have that you yes, wanted to show so us how to this make. this is a soup okay. where uh, it's very much a prebiotic source of soup. Okay. And uh, it's called chicken albondiga soup. Okay, albondiga. albondiga. means meatballs. Meatballs, yes, okay, yeah. Yes, a very Latin flavor. And you're from uh, Peru. I am Peruvian, okay, love so it. we eat these chicken meatballs all the time. Okay. So first of all, we're going to start by adding the broth, but we're going to turn this on yeah, first. Turn that on. You got there it. There you go. Mm -hmm. We're going to add broth. This is chicken broth. Or, or if you make your own broth at home, you can use that too. And if you're vegetarian or vegan, you have recipes in your book as oh, well for yes. those. Most of the recipes are actually vegan and vegetarian yeah. based. And then you can add your protein option. Sure. That makes sense. All right. So then... Then while that's heating up, mm -hmm. we're going to make the meatballs. Sure. So pretty much this is chicken, ground chicken. You can help me here. Okay. This is bell peppers. Great I'll mix prebiotics. It up for you. Yeah, you mix add it up for the me. Stuff. I'll mix that it sounds up. great. Okay. This is brown rice. Brown rice. Yeah, quite delish. Did and then red onions. Red okay, onions. onion is another prebiotic food as well, which is great. Oh, yummy too. Okay. So we, I normally use my hands, but mm -hmm. we don't have to do that now. <laughs> and oh, you then, put you put already put two yeah, together. Yeah, and then right? you 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 make the meatballs, mm -hmm. and we're gonna pour put the meatballs in, in the here. broth. Okay. Now you cook this for about ten minutes, and then once the meatball is cooked about 10 minutes, right. we add the rest of the vegetables. So more onions. So more onions in there, bell peppers, all these pre beautiful prebiotic right. foods. 
obviously celery, celery. carrots. You keep adding, I'm gonna grab. Yes, I'm gonna stir these. Now, uh, then you cook this until the vegetables are tender, another 10 more minutes, mm -hmm. and you have this amazing soup. I'm gonna try that, is that okay? You top it up with avocados. Yes. Now, here's something I wanna show you about. Okay, quick, yeah. Yes, so the skin of the avocado. In order to peel an avocado, you wanna nick and peel, mm. because this dark green part mm -hmm. is where you find most of the most phytonutrients. Of the nutrients. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so it's concentrated in the green part. This is really good. Yes, We're gonna put, delicious. Um, the information on the book is Flat Belly 365, Manuel V. 